Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the module three of RPA. In this topic, we have the uh, in this module we have the four super important questions which are very much expected from the external point of view. I'll be telling what all you need to keep in mind. Watch this video till the end. You'll get to know exactly what you have to write. For example, like the steps and what are the diagrams you need to make. Everything will be discussed in depth. Here, the main concept is the control flow activities, which will be starting from the first question. Before that, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and let's get started. The first question explains the five types of control flow activities. What are the control flow activities? We have the control flow activities as follows: assign activity. Assign activity. What you have to make is like a box like this. You have to make and you have to make a small box here, small box here, and a variable here and some value here. That value will be assigned to that variable. That is known as assign activity. To assign some value to a variable, we'll be using assign activity. Delay activity means we'll be having a box like this and there it will be written uh, delay. If you use this, it will be delayed for a particular amount of time between two operations. Bre break activity. If you want to come out of an execution statement, you'll be using break. It will be just like a box. It will be written break in that while activity. It will execute until our uh, condition gets false. Do while means you will be doing some activity. Then you will be checking a condition until it uh, becomes false. You will be keep on executing the same activity repeatedly. For each activity will be done whenever you have a set of operations you need to perform for a specific amount of time, uh, amount of number of operations at that time we will be using for each activity if activity is used for checking if the condition is true or not based on that you will be performing some activity. Switch activity will be having multiple cases whichever case matches you will be performing that activity. The theory concepts and the actual execution of these all things I have discussed in the um, practical videos I have made and put in the, the link is in the description box you can watch that and uh, get to know how it exactly works and the diagrams everything is there this video is just for your reference what all is the important and what are the key points you have tried if you know the concept you can easily write in your own words nothing much you just have to watch the video which i have already made okay so moving on to the second question which is illustrated by step by step example to read a flow in an array and select all those names which are starting with a so i will be telling you the flow and the steps you have to write what in your own words what you have to first do is you have to create a names array and inside that you have to store some names okay like for example what are the names here some of the names which I, have, which I have stored is john sam andrew and anita okay after you have stored that names uh, in the name then you will be using for each loop for accessing each item and inside body you will do something what is that something that something is nothing but you will be checking that if the condition is true what is the condition item dot two string dot starts with a if it is starting with a assign count is equal to count plus one so counts value will be incremented by one and like that it will happen until all the names are accessed and the count value will be increased for each of the name which is starting with a then finally we will be using a message box to output um, count dot two string so we'll be having in count the uh, value of what uh, number of names um, how many uh, names have the letter a that's what and the steps you can go through it this execution also have done uh, watch that video for the uh, tutorial and more information moving on to the third uh, question which is illustrated steps to build the data table using uh, data scraping to build a data table using data scraping what are the steps is i've just included the steps here you have to watch the video in that i have explained in depth how you have to do that tutorial is there in the uh, playlist you can watch that but make sure you know this very well i'll be just briefly going through what it is if you already know the concept then only you can understand there's a screen and you will have a desktop a data scraping here when you click data scraping a website will open inside the website you will be having some data you'll be selecting one of the uh, data and the similar data will be selecting further and if you scroll down you'll have many such data all those will be selected automatically based on the pattern uh, which you have selected here first uh, matching second matching third it automatically it will happen after the second uh, selection and when it gets selected it will come and store inside the data table and the data table can uh, access and it can be converted to string or whatever you want you can output in the message form or whatever you, uh, you can't uh, you want you can do it okay so basically these are the steps watch the tutorial it's a very short tutorial you can watch and then write these things in your own words these are just uh, the important key points you can just go through the uh, bullet points after watching the video you'll get to know Moving on to the fourth super important question, we have what are the five uh, methods that are uh, frequently used with an Excel file? Excel file is used for what two things? Writing and reading. That's all. But here we have write, uh, read, and uh, and uh, append also. So uh, we'll be having many things and uh, we'll be having read cell and write cell read range uh, write range and append range so uh, the read cell write cell read range and append range will be having so uh, in the read cell will be reading some data and the uh, in the write cell will be 
get uh, writing some data in the read range and the write range will be uh, reading a particular set of data and writing also the particular set of data and um, so uh, what the main concept you need to keep in mind is for reading the cell you will have to use the excel application scope in the excel appli application scope you will be having some uh, application scope here inside that you will be reading some data for the, uh, for the reading of the data you will be uh, putting an activity called as read cell if you uh, put an activity called as read cell you have to specify which cell you have to read and that cell's value will be specified and whatever the data that will be read and stored inside that and that inside that will be taken and uh, you'll be um, using that variable to output uh, by using a message box that's for the read cell for the write cell also you have to do the same things you just have to read the uh, you have to put the excel application scope inside the application scope you have to drop the write cell activity inside the write cell activity you have uh, um, whatever you want to write you will be specifying in the text box like this will be having you'll be specifying here in the text box whatever you want to write and that will be written in which cell you want to write that specific cell it will be written okay so that was about the uh, right cell in the same you can uh, do the right range read range and append range read range means you will read a range of data you have to specify what is the starting cell and uh, that will re uh, read the whole range right cell and read cell will just uh, work on one cell Re uh, read range and write range that will work on multiple cells if you want to write the data to multiple cells that also you can do append range means already some existing cell will be there you will be using that cell uh, to write the data okay so what you have to do first is go to the playlist link which is given in the description box watch all the tutorial videos because most of the questions from the module 3 are gonna be asked on the tutorial thing only if, uh, if you haven't executed yourself Make sure you watch the video that uh, that will make you a uh, slight hint in your mind what you have to actually do okay without that if you just uh, watch this video it will be very hard for you to understand what i am telling okay so uh, watch that video make sure um, you uh, learn all these questions very well four super important questions and that's all for this uh, module three make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one